Hi, I'm Dr. D. People come to my office all the time and they ask, why do I need to have my knee replaced? I go to the surgeon and the surgeon tells me I have to have my knee replaced. But I'm walking, I'm playing tennis. I just have pain and some stiffness. But it still works. Well, why is it that I have to have my knee replaced? Well, you don't have to have your knee replaced, right? And if you tell the surgeon you don't want your knee replaced, he or she is going to say, well, come back when the pain's bad enough and I'll, I'll do it then. I mean, you guys have all heard this. So what's going on? Well, osteoarthritis is a medical disease. It's a medical problem. It's not a surgical problem. Right? You get bone spurs, sclerosis, it's degenerative, it happens over time. The problem is that our rheumatology friends haven't had the right drugs, medications, infusions to help with osteoarthritis like they do for psoriatic arthritis or for rheumatoid arthritis, right? They got Advil, Aleve, cortisol. Well, these are Band-Aids, they're not fixing the problem. And the reason they're not fixing the problem is because the problem is very different. It's very different than other rheumatologic problems. Even though it's the most common disorder, the most common source of pain, osteoarthritis is unique. You see, your bone has cartilage on the end of it. You see this blue stuff here? You have a meniscus, right? The meniscus is that pad, right? So when you have space on an x-ray, lots of meniscus, no space, you're bone on bone, which by the way, isn't a real medical term. There's no billing code. Google it, chat GDP it. But when you don't have meniscus, that tells the surgeon, the orthopedic surgeon who's trying to help you, that your meniscus isn't causing your problem because there isn't enough meniscus there to get torn and flip-flop and get stuck. So therefore, it's osteoarthritis. But bone spurs don't cause pain. Bone spurs can be there for years. We don't even know they're there. Well, that's part of osteoarthritis. So if you have a bone spur, one box. Mild osteoarthritis. Sclerosis. Sclerosis is a funny word. It sounds really scary. But all sclerosis means is more calcium density in your bone. It's the opposite of osteoporosis. When you have osteoporosis, you take vitamin D and calcium because your bones don't have as much calcium density. Sclerosis simply means more calcium density. It's not deformity or ridging. It's literally the density of the bone. And it's protective. Why is it protective? It's protective because it's making your bone harder. Evolution. Okay, but it's still part of osteoarthritis. So if you have a bone spur and you have sclerosis, you got moderate osteoarthritis. Radiologists are just reading the picture. They're, they're just following the rules. If you have any loss of your meniscus, say 20% or 80%, well, now you've got severe osteoarthritis. And that's probably the good knee, right? What's the bad knee look like? So the question is, when do you need your knee replaced? Well, it's a lot like having a cavity in your tooth. I may have a cavity for a couple of years. Well, I'm not going to the dentist if I don't have any pain to fix a cavity. But at one point, it gets just deep enough, right? And then you get a toothache. So you go to the dentist, they look in your mouth, they do an x-ray, and voila, you have a little teeny tiny cavity. You can't even see it, but it hurts. So they fill the cavity, send you home, and life is great. Now, if it's a bad cavity, Okay. But you have a good solid tooth, the dentist always wants to save your tooth. Right? They're going to do everything they can to save your tooth. So you might get a root canal, treat the pain, treat the infection, and then fill the tooth. But if it's a mechanically good tooth, they're going to do everything they can to save your tooth. That's what dentists do. And unfortunately, sometimes your tooth might not be viable. It's mechanically compromised. It's cracked. It's broken. Right? So they can't, they can't just you know, fill it or save it. Well, that's when you get a crown or an implant. Well, how does a crown make your pain go away? Well, they're going to grind your tooth down, right? They grind it down, they remove the top of the tooth, and then you have a little post. When they remove all that bone tooth pulp, they're removing the nerve endings that are causing the pain. So now your pain's gone. It's great, but you don't have a tooth, right? So they have to make the porcelain cap, glue it on the top, and there's your crown. So the cap isn't stopping your pain. The cap is a prosthetic so you can chew. Removing the top of the tooth is what actually stops your pain. Joint replacement's exactly the same. You have hard cartilage on the end of your bone 
The meniscus is there too, but you have this hard cartilage, it's blue in this particular model. It's the same stuff you see on the end of a chicken bone, the hard white stuff on the end of the chicken bone. That's what this is. And it's there to protect your bone because bone's alive. We have bone marrow, blood vessels, and there are nerve endings in the bone. So this hard cartilage is there to protect the bone. Now, in a young person, teenager playing soccer, he gets kicked in the knee and hurts because the nurse feels something because even with his hard chicken bone cartilage, he's getting kicked. When the nurse feels something, they say, ouch. He screams. But then the nerves do a second thing. They release something called substance P. Substance P like Peter. Substance P is the root of all evil in osteoarthritis, by the way. The nerves release this neuropeptide substance P, and substance P has one job. Google it. Inflammation. Substance P causes inflammation. So this young guy, the teenager, gets kicked in the knee, it hurts, he screams, and then substance P gets released by the nerves, and then his knee falls off. Right? That's when everybody comes up to him with ice packs and you know, takes care of him. But if it's just a bad contusion, because he got kicked real hard, three, four, five days later, he's running around happy. Right? That's the normal pain inflammation cycle. That's how the joints design. Now, when you have osteoarthritis, bone spurs, sclerosis, they don't cause pain. What's causing your pain is something called chondromalacia. Chondromalacia. I didn't make it up. It's really called that. Chondromalacia means cavities in this hard chicken bone cartilage. Little cavities, just like a tooth cavity. And when these cavities get just deep enough, and you put pressure on that when you're walking, the nerves feel something. They say, ouch. Now the nerves don't know you have cavities. All they know is something's activating them. And when they get activated and they sense a throb or an ache or a sharp pain, you know it, but then they release substance P because the nerves don't know you have cavities. They think they're getting kicked 15 times a day. And as you release substance P for weeks and months and years, well, that inflammation in a normal teenager, which helps heal for a few days, now it becomes a chronic, not physiologic, but pathologic inflammation. You have all kinds of angry, angry things going on in the joint, but the most important thing is that the pH of the joint changes. The pH of the joint changes. The pH of our, our blood, of our tissue, the pH of all of our tissue is 7.4. 7.4, ask your doctor, ask a nurse. I spent years in the ICU, okay? If a person has a, a blood oxygen level or pH that's less than 7.4, 7.38, they're typically intubated in the ICU because it's not compatible with life. So all of our cells, our white cells, our red cells, our platelets, all of these cells, they like 7.4. Your angry arthritic knee that's been smoldering for months or years, the pH is 7.35, 7.32, depending on how bad it is. So you tell me, how are we gonna fix your cartilage if we don't fix the environment of your joint, right? If this is an angry acidic environment relative to physiologic pH, anything you put in the joint, it's gonna die. It's gonna disintegrate. It's like planting a flower on Mars. So what we have to do is stop the pain, turn off the inflammation, calm the joint so it's, not, it's normal, it's happy, it's nurturing, that's the word. And then we can work on fixing the cavities.